Hey guys, here's a new one for Blender, Texturing and UV Mapping for Beginners. Here we are in Textures.com and I'm searching for a simple window. Ok, how about this one? Looks good, I have a free account, but I can download it for 2 credits, this one here, and I save it to this folder in which we are going to create the Blender project. And this is Blender 3, you can use 2.8, 2.9 as well. We don't need the camera. Then I snap the view and drag the image into the viewport. I have a Windows OS, so I drag it from the Windows Explorer into the view. And then I want to snap it to the grid, so be sure to have absolute grid snapping enabled. And then I press G and the control key and snap it like that to the center. Alright, then we can rename it. And then it's time to add an object, for instance a plane. So press the keys SHIFT and A, then select Plane for the mesh. Again I snap the view, then I want to rotate it, I press R and the control key so that I snap while rotating, so that I can rotate exactly 90 degrees. And in edit mode we have to move the mesh so that it matches the image. I set the selection mode to edge selection. And I also have the X-Ray enabled so that I see the image through the mesh. And now we can select and move edges, for instance using the Move tool. And again I hold the Ctrl key pressed so that we snap to the grid. Just select and then use the gizmo to move. Ok, nice, now I tap into the object mode and bring it a tiny bit to the front. Then I go back to edit mode for modeling the mesh. First I adjust the size, so I select the edges, press S followed by X to resize it along the X axis and now we can start modeling the window. Ok, we start by adding edge loops to the mesh, press Ctrl and R, then click and move the edge loop, here another one, to match the outline of the window. And now in vertical direction, again two edge loops, and then for the inside as well. You can zoom in and adjust the edges more precisely. And two vertical edge loops that are scale now along the X axis. Again press S followed by X. Ok, now I disable the X-ray and use the solid viewport shading so that we can see the mesh. So far so good, then I switch to face selection and select the face here in the middle, to that the window will be mapped. Then I press E to extrude to the inside. Ok, and the frame of the window will also be extruded, but to the outside. So select the faces first, and then press E and extrude. And you see it's very simple, but we need another extrusion for these faces here to create the window sill. And that's it for modeling the mesh, you see this is pretty simple. And before we go to UV unwrapping, let me tell you that the plane has a default UV unwrapping. But the UV islands of the faces that we created by modeling the window don't match to the image of the window and this is what we are going to create now. Ok, but before we will add a material to the object. I call it Matte Window. And then I open a new window in Blender and select the Shader Editor. The default shader, the principal shader is added, I set the roughness to 1 and the specular to 0. Ok, and then I add an image texture node, 
assign it to the base color and then select the texture that we downloaded. Okay, and when you select now the material preview, you get the default mapping, but we have to adjust it. So go ahead and open a UV editor. In this I choose the texture. And then I go to edit mode, press A to select all, and then you see the UV islands in the UV editor. Great, and now we can map these islands to the correct areas of the image. I enable edge selection, and in the UV editor you can select edges now, and then move them by pressing G followed by X if you want to constrain to the X axis, and Y if you want to constrain to the Y axis, and map the islands to the underlying image. Then this one, and on the left side you can see the result. Some more adjustments. You can zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel to match more precisely, and this is basically how to map the UVs. Then I modify the UV island for the window, I press S to scale and G to move, to map this face as good as possible. Ok, that's it for the autographic front view. Now let's go ahead and map the polygons at the inside and outsides to the image as well. For example, these faces here. I select them and then I press the U key and choose Unwrap. Then in the UV editor, I press A to select the faces. Then the S key to scale them down. And then we can move the islands to this area and get a pretty good mapping for this part. And this is the principle for mapping without marking seams. I just select faces, then unwrap, scale and rotate the islands and move them to the matching parts of the image. I speed up the video now a bit because it's the same for all the islands. We are mapping now the insides and outsides of the window frame and also the window sill. This one we have to rotate, then scale it down, and then move it to this area. Ok, that's it, now we can close the UV editor. And then for instance add a point light. Press G to move it and increase the strength and add a different color. That's a bit too strong. And now we get these nice shadows. Ok guys, I hope you liked this short tutorial for texturing by UV mapping without having to add seams. If you do, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, and if you have any questions, add these to the comments. 
consider becoming my patron or join as a channel member, this would be great. And I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.